Greetings, demons, and welcome to the Chapter 4, Season 4 Battle Pass for Fortnite Battle Royale. And, uh, yeah, of course, I'm a, you know, Fortnite Crew subscriber, so I'm just going to be able to claim it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have a look through the full list of everything that's included, including all the bonus rewards and the quote-unquote secret skin, which I'm pretty sure is Ahsoka. But, uh, yeah, let's just claim it and, uh... Have a look through the pass. Not the leader of a cult, rabbit with sex. Spell pass unlocked, there we go. Automatically getting Nolan Chance, who uh, I have already kind of predicted in the trailer reaction. I think he's some version or some representation of Midas. Uh, I believe there is a gold star that we'll get to in the bonus rewards at some point. But uh, yeah. He's, he's a neat enough skin. Um, I quite like his hairdo. The general outfit is, is what it is. But um, yeah, we'll get that equipped just so that we've got something from this season equipped. And uh, yeah, let's... Oh, I also apparently got Tracer's Illuminated style. Cool. Um, <laughs> I guess I didn't claim everything last season. But yeah, that was last season. This season, Battle Pass. Okay, so we've got the Nolan Chance loading screen. 100 V-Bucks. Banner icon. The backup blades, okay, they're kind of interesting. Swing them. Oh, that's disappointing, they're pretty generic sounding, but still. Dice roll them out. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Oh, it's a number generator as well, it actually gives you a number. That's kind of cool, actually. If that's okay, let's see, does it give you a four every time, or... Is it different? Yeah, it is. Okay, it's a natural dice. Like, it's a number generator of a dice. That's cool. We've got the luxury lockbox back bling. Okay. Speed run emoticon. More V-Bucks. Lovely. We've got the Nolan Chance outfit, which we've already obviously had a look at. But, uh, yeah, he's got his little pistol. He's got his flak armor, little walkie-talkie. Um... Yeah, not, not the most interesting skin in the world, but perfectly good skin. Honestly, you know, we've had a few seasons of uh, Mediocre, so I'm willing to take something that I, I, I'm i like, yeah, yeah, this is cool. You know, this isn't going straight into the archive like a lot of skins from the last few seasons have done, so, you know, I can't complain too much. Tactical Nolan Chance Loading Screen. Nolan Takes Aim Spray. We've got the Flight Risk Glider. Okay. More V-Bucks. We've got the Master Plan Wrap. Oh, that's an interesting new gun. Um, that that caught you off guard. Um, yeah, looks quite nice, that wrap. We've got the Tactical Style for the, the uh, pickaxe. Very nice. And the Tactical Nolan Chance Skin. Okay. Okay, I kind of prefer this, you know. The, like, full black and orange is really nice. Like, getting rid of the suit aesthetic as well. Very cool, the white hair. Just a very nice style there. Quite like that one. I think that'll be what I'll be running more for Nolan than uh, than his default style. We have Piper Pace with her loading screen. The Stealing Wheel back bling. Okay. So her entire thing is that she's a pizza pit delivery driver, I guess. Uh, 100 V-Bucks. We've got the Pitsicle. I'm assuming that's probably copyright and music, so I'm going to skip over that. But yeah, new traversal emote. That's uh, Pizza Pit Ray. Uh, Pizza Pit Base, even. I've got the Pizza Pizza Run Spray. Okay. The Spin It Slicer Pickaxe. That's interesting. Let's. Uh... Okay, that's kind of boring. Sounds like uh, wood hitting, which we've had before. Uh, the Piper Pace outfit herself. Looks interesting. I like how it's just like a tactical suit that just happens to have the pizza pit delivery outfit over it. Uh, and her, she has like a default animation with the uh, the bubble gum. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, just the pizza pit outfit. I'm not the biggest fan of like the pizza pit and der burger like stuff in game, but uh, yeah, it's a nice enough aesthetic. I, qu I quite like the idea behind it at the very least. Then we've got hyperspace piper pace. Her loading screen. The Pizza Pit banner icon. I'm sure a lot of people are going to enjoy that. Tail lights contrail. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's actually like a road as well below. Oh, that's really neat. I like that a lot. Okay, I like that one. That's cool. More V-Bucks. We've got the hyperspace style for the glider. 
Okay, so we haven't seen that yet, but it's just a very default style glider. The Hungry for the Chase music. Okay. This might be what was playing for the emo, but I'm not actually completely sure, but uh, moving on anyway. The Hyperspace Piper Pace. So, uh, this is, I guess, her, like, upgraded, like, actual, like, secret agent, super agent, super spy sort of look, I guess. Um, she, she looks cool. I like the hair. Um, I think I do prefer having the jacket. I don't know. There's something about the jacket that's kind of cool to me. Even though, as I say, I don't really care about the iconography of Pizza Pit too much. I just think the puffy jacket's kind of cool. Um, moving on, we have Fish Thick. Um, I hate that, honestly. I think that's a terrible name, personally, but whatever. Fishy Flex Emoticon. We've got the Powder Keg Back Bling. Sweaty Shake, okay. So we've got some uh, protein powder. We've got 100 V-Bucks. Dumbbell Driver Pickaxe. Okay, I want to see the animation on this. It's just like punching someone with a dumbbell. That's kind of brilliant, actually. Uh, the Flaky Feast emote. Oh, it's like... Oh! It's like fish flakes rather than being like protein powder. Yeah, that's kind of fun. I like that. We also have, of course, the fish thick outfit. Which I quite... I, I do quite like the skin. I hate the name. But, uh, yeah, Sweaty Jim is, is really good. Just... I like my fish stick skins in general, and having a bulky one is really cool to me. Yeah, this is this is just a fun skin. I love how he's still got the uh, the little pointy bits on his legs and stuff. Very very cool. He's definitely skipped leg day though. We have the Finn Decatur fish stick loading screen. Finn Decatur uh, Finn Decation, sorry style for the uh, glider, which we haven't seen yet, but that was pretty cool. More V bucks. The banner icon for a dumbbell. Vindication style for the back bling. Okay. We have the Coral Crush Wrap, which is way too colourful for this skin, I feel. But yeah, very nice. I like the uh, the pink, blue, and, and uh, white. Very nice. And then the Vindicator Fish Thick Skin. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of the Riddick um, glasses, but... Uh, yeah, I like the shirt with the uh, like the the skeleton fish skeleton on it. Very neat. I like that. I like that. Then we have May. Oh, this is like okay. Watch well, you look at this one. Probably this is very much like um oh lo-fi girl. This is lo-fi girl in a nutshell. That's brilliant. I kind of love that. We've seen something like this for Overwatch as well before uh, for Sombra. But yeah, that's really cool. The May Junior Backling. Okay. The Uwu Wrap, okay. I hate this already. <laughs> uh, 100 v books, okay. Drones E View, okay. The original Bonk Bunny. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, I, I like this. I like, I like this one a lot. I hate the fact that it keeps having all this, like, um, semicolon, free semicolon stuff, but, yeah, I, I like the aesthetic. Um, May outfit. May actually be... May actually be the the best um, anime skin we've had. I quite like this. I like the I like the outfit. I like the uh, the general look. I've I think I own basically everything in this outfit, which is kind of funny. Uh, maybe not in these colors, but I do. I I'm pretty sure I own this entire outfit in some form. Uh, then we have the black hat May, so like a hacker motif going on. V bucks. Why is that not numbered? Why does that say just V bucks? Seven hundred V bucks. Uh, Race to the Horizon music pack. Okay. The Bunny Bop emoticon. <laughs> I like that. Um, dark mode style for the glider. Which looks pretty cool. That's that drone. Dark mode style for the bunny back bling. Okay. And then the Black Hat May style, which... Uh, I don't think I enjoy this as much. The fact that the uh, the edge highlighting is done in pink, it's interesting. It's different, but I don't know if it. I think it distracts a little bit too much. I'm not a bit. I'm not a fan of that style, honestly. I don't know. We'll, we'll have a look at the other styles that she has. But uh, moving on to Antonia. Okay, so this is like the spy character. Antonia in action spray. We have the elegance blade. It's kind of interesting. Bit of a generic metal on metal sound there. 100 V-Bucks. Dangerous by design. Okay. 
I like that. I like that. The diamond drop contrail. Okay, not, not as good as the other one, but that, that's kind of neat. I like that. Antonia as an outfit. Okay. Not the biggest fan of this design, but it's all right. I kind of like the hair. The hair being like half, uh, two tone. I must say half tone. That's not that's not a thing. Um, she has like golf gloves as well, which is kind of interesting. A little pistol on the side. Not a bad skin, yeah. Perfectly fine. Then we've got the Combat Chic Antonia. Loading screen. V-Bucks. The Goods Emoticon. I like that. I like that animation. The Clutch and Dagger Back Bling. Okay. I think we've seen something like this before, honestly. Lady in Gold. Uh, wrap. Looks very nice. The silver and gold motif with a bit of, like metallic scratchiness or like diamond design almost. Very nice. Crack it emote. Okay, this reminds me... This reminds me so much of the uh, chimichanga emote for uh, Deadpool. That's interesting. Okay. The Combat Chic Antonia edit style. Okay, I think I prefer this look overall. Yeah. I think I prefer this. The mask and everything. The little jacket over it all. Okay, the skin's all right. The, the, yeah, Antonia's fine. Not not necessarily a skin I'll wear too much, but definitely an okay skin. We've got KB Lame, which uh, is, of course, the... I, I believe he's a TikToker. I'm not completely sure, but uh, yeah, you get his loading screen. King's Seal Spray, V-Bucks. The Silent Slicer. Okay. The Point and Shoot Emo. Okay, cool, I guess. Whatever. Uh, influential rap. I kind of like that, actually. The color scheme's pretty cool on that. It's different. I, I, I like it. The green, the purple, and the, with the yellow highlights. Just, just very nice. The KB Lame skin itself. It doesn't look that much like him, in my opinion. I don't know. It, I'm sure it's close enough, but, like, I don't know. I'm not a fan of him anyway, so I don't really mind too much. But, uh, yeah, this is a decent enough skin. I'm, I'm sure I'll run it once or twice and then probably archive it, but yeah, it is what it is. You know, can't complain too much. It is a good skin. It just, it's a shame there's an Icon Series skin in the Battle Pass. I do understand why people have got an issue with that. I don't really mind too much. It is what it is. Traditional KB. We've got the KB banner icon. It's like this emoticon. Okay. The King Wings glider. Kind of cool, like that. The Silent Slicer back I assume that works with the uh, housing tool. 100 V-Bucks. And then the traditional KB style. This reminds me... This is like an anime style as well. This reminds me a lot of... I can't remember which character it is. There's a character in Multiverse of Madness. Uh, the Doctor Strange movie. That has an outfit very similar to this. It might actually be one of the Doctor Strange variants. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. That's kind of odd. Okay. Then we have Kado Fawn. So this is the main antagonist for this season. We have the Final Eclipse Wrap. The Revenant's Hunt Spray. 100 V-Bucks. Wicked Wings Contrail. Okay. That's kind of cool. I like the portal effect below it and stuff. Kind of neat. Kind of neat. Eclipsed Edges Pickaxe. Okay. Kind of, kind of generic again, but it's fine. Kado Fawn Outfit. Looking like a Spider-Man villain. Oh, his mask's actually animated. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, interesting enough skin. Neat enough. Then we have the Revenant Kato Fawn loading screen. The Kato Fawn banner icon. Wraith Wings back bling. That's cool. Okay, I, li I like that. That's very neat. I I'm, I'm probably going to run that at some point with uh, a few different combos. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Moth Mando might get an upgrade to his wings. Uh, Vampiric Emoticon. Okay, V-Bucks and the Wraith Wings glider. It's good that that seems to not actually be exclusive to Kado. That seems to be something that anyone can run by the fact that I'm able to do it with uh, with whatever this guy's called. I forgot already. And then finally, the Tier 100 Met Metamorphosis emote. And obviously the style that goes along with it. Looks very cool. So you can go back and forth. Very vampire. I like that, I like that. Okay, so that is all of the main battle pass. Uh, let's have a look at bonus rewards. So these are all for completing um, 
completing the Battle Pass originally, the first 100 tiers, and this is the next 100 tiers. You've got the Tactical Star for the Back Bling. I'm not going to go over it in too much detail, but Oopsie Dronesy. Uh, okay, are you in loading screen? Hyperspace Star for the Harvesting Tool. Maze Amazing Maze. Contrail. Um, okay, kind of looks cool. Masquerade Antonia. Okay, that's kind of... Uh, I like that. I like that colour scheme. Very nice. We've also got the tactical style for this glider. The buffer fish spray. Beats bunny. Okay. I like this. It's, uh, it's different. This reminds me of uh, a lot of uh, Beat Saber. <laughs> We've got Pitmaster Wrap. Looks pretty good to me. Nice uh, clean colour scheme. Hyperspace back bling for uh, the Pizza Pit wheel. Lavish Kado Fawn. Okay. I think I prefer this to his nor to his original style in the Battle Pass, but... Uh, yeah, is what it is. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan in general, but it's alright. And then we don't actually know what that design is yet for the, uh, for the final three pages. Okay, so next up is quest rewards. These are for completing quests uh, throughout the season to get the last resort loading screen. The big score contrail. Okay. So just a bunch of uh, money filled bags floating up. The heist formal Nolan chance. Okay. Piping hot emoticon. Okay. The Pitfaller Glider, which we've always seen a variant of this already. Very nice. The Hazardous Piper Pace Skin. Yeah, I, I, I like that one. I like that one. I'm, I'm hoping that all of them have the jacket on or off style, because I think I prefer the jacket. Um, This color scheme's alright. I think I prefer the original, though, still. Definitely a good skin, but not, not too uh, sure about the edit styles. The Findication style for the Harvesting Tool. I'm sure it sounds the same, but let's try it. Yep. We have the Swole Sailor Glider, which we've already seen the other colour scheme for. Reef Cake Fish, di uh, fish Fick. Okay. I like the pink. The pink is nice. Nothing too uh, too special. The uh, the palm tree design on the trousers is kind of cool. Uh, the banner icon for the maze, I guess. For Maze Maze. Uh, dark Mode Style for the housing tool. For the uh, bunny housing tool. Reboot Dusk May. Okay, I think this is my favourite. It's kind of weird that her little pouch is very close to her skin tone. I know it is different, it's darker, but like... The, it, it looks like she's... I don't know. It looks like she's wearing... Uh, I don't even know what she'd be wearing to that, have that be the thing. She's wearing dungarees, but... Yeah, I like that edit style. Very nice. And that is all of those. So I guess we've got the Ahsoka Tano set now. And it's all a mystery except for Ahsoka herself. Well, at least we can actually look at that skin. Uh, so yeah, it's it's Ahsoka from uh, Mandalorian and the Ahsoka show. I don't have much to say about it. it. It I'm happy Ahsoka's here. Don't get me wrong. I just this isn't my preferred look for her. I I would much rather it be either the Clone Wars or Rebels aesthetics. And I know this is kind of similar to both of those in its own way. But uh, yeah, no, I I definitely. I, I definitely am looking forward to actually having the skin unlocked. I just wish it had some edit styles that made it, you know, different eras of Ahsoka. But still, all very cool. And that is everything. So, uh, I guess we may as well check the item shop just while we're here. Um, I doubt anything's changed, but just in case. Oh, wait, I have some last resort stuff. You know what? I'm going to do a full item shop in that case. But, uh... Yeah, that is everything for the bar pass. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like it, subscribe if you're new on Twitter, and ring that bell so you never miss upload. Otherwise, I'm going to be making plenty more content for uh, Fortnite chapter uh, for chapter four, season four. I'm going to have to uh, get used to that again. But uh, yeah, if you haven't already, check out my reaction to the uh, both the gameplay and reveal trailers for the season. And look forward to my first match, as well as I'm sure plenty of other content relating to the season. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!